very happy at the performance of his K rule so far, although he did have to switch to Krom to pull out game three against Hopkins. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. So, uh, we are seeing, yeah, he is willing to play Krom, uh, pull out all the stops if he's in a, a dangerous situation. But yeah, so far the K rule's going well. Here we go, Hopkins Hero versus Saginus Young Lick. Did you say uh, Wake was DQing in Losers? Yes, he is. Okay, uh, Crescendo, I think, is waiting on a match, so he doesn't know how to get in contact with Sorry, Crescendo. Yeah, I I was supposed to DQ Wake. You are advancing. Alright, there we go. Yeah, so Crescendo makes it into top 16 as well. Yeah, qualifies for top 16. Good job, Howard. But uh, now we got, uh, Ooh, we got a hero in Young Link. I think this is the first hero we've ever seen. Yeah, first appearance of both of these characters in the stream so far. Mm -hmm, for sure. This is going to be quite interesting. Hero definitely is a weird character to deal with because of his randomness. So we'll see how uh, the Link can deal with it. Really nice movement so far from Saginus. A um, couple of wave bounce arrows. Yeah, and and uh, both the range, the burst ranges of his character. Yeah, thankfully, uh, Young Link can go in. Uh, he's got really good frame data, so even if Hero has bounce, Young Link can also deal with it. For sure. Okay, gets the soft air. Yeah, up be out of shield from Hero. Getting into an up air. It's really, really clean play so far. I have played against him once or twice before, and I was really impressed by his uh, his knowledge of the character and his tech skill. Um, stream is messing up. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, thankfully all these matches will be posted on YouTube. I assume it's going to be both on the SK and Manitoba channels, I would assume. I'm not sure if Manitoba has a channel, but definitely on the SK channel. Yeah. Okay, it definitely on SK. But, oh, getting that jab reset, jab lockout with the uh, soft nair, really good. And uh, just getting these arrows. Uh, Singer's doing a really good job just keeping pressure on Hero. And he's up three stops oh, to one. A fair broke shield. With oomph. So oh, yeah. Thought. He gets a crit on that too. <laughs> oh, does he? Oh, that's like double insulting. He got a crit, but he was already at 124. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, guess I'll go with focus and gets a hatchet man. Uh, yeah. He's definitely got a huge. He's got a huge work way, way ahead of him. Uh, and Young Lee just so fast. He gets a bit of a very safe. There. Yeah. Nice landing down. He went for the up out of shield to punish a young Link aerial. And got a yeah. bit of a big thing there because you can't punish any of young Link's aerials. Yeah, for sure. It's definitely really hard to punish young Link. He's just so fast. Frame data is good. Almost safe on a lot of uh, his aerials. And just fire arrows being basically short off of buckle air uh, lasers from melee. Essentially, They're just so yeah. good. Pack a bit more of a punch and they're a bit laggier. But yeah. They move in, in, in concept, yeah. Mm hmm. So, uh, Senju is, uh, taking game one. Uh, bounce definitely doesn't really help Hero much, in my personal opinion, in this matchup. Just because Young Lee can't grab if he needs to. Yeah, I'm gonna want to see Pompkin switch to a stage that has, uh, less space for Ying yeah. to, space to throw projectiles. Yeah, for sure. And uh, Hero definitely does have the longer range. Um, question is, can he catch up to uh, Young Link? It's always the question. But I feel like I feel like the problems that Bombcons is having are just they're more so indicative of the overall issues in the matchup rather than a current mm -hmm. range choice. Just because yeah. both characters want to use their projectiles, but Young Link is always able to throw out projectiles because his frame data is so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hero has to look through the menu. And yeah. So here. Young Link just won't be giving Hero the time to do it. Yeah, for sure. And that and even uh, Hunts has to play a melee style, and that's not Hero's strong suit. So it's very unfortunate. I think this was, this is probably one of the worst case scenarios for Pumpkins to have to play. Yeah, and um, with uh, he do Hero does have Frizz and uh, Zazzle, but uh, they have to get he has to get that to stage two to make that any uh, make it worthwhile. Because uh, the arrows will cancel out this the weak just frizz and then frizz. I don't know if it'll fully cancel out, but there's two hitboxes on it. Yeah. And um, 
Also, those spells just use so much mana that he, eventually he has to go in, which Young Link has no problem scrapping. Yeah, that's a bit of an ill-advised up the attempt there by Sejanus. He gets punished by the F-Smash. Mm. Okay, he uses Psych Up for a Nair. Gets 11.8% off of it. Sure. And, uh, oh! No, gets that whiff. Good not punish even. on that up B. Very good. Uh, very clutch play from Sejanus. He, didn't, yeah. he could not uh, afford to fall too far behind against Hero. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Not too good for uh, pumpkins, but right, definitely. It's not too far behind. But you, mm -hmm. you were talking about an interaction that happened a while back. Am I? Yeah. Oh boy. I'm at 522. What are you at? Juggle. 503, and this, the live stream is at 506. We'll just try it like refreshing, pausing and playing again. Okay, I got a bit of a load. Okay, so the guy takes the lead here. Quickly wrapped up, racked up 46%. There we go. He's gonna come in clutch. Mm -hmm. sure. is now maybe one or two hits away from killing his, uh, his foe here. Mm -hmm. Kaboom, definitely one of Hero's probably most powerful spells, and yep, yeah, getting it right there. I think, yeah, by far, by far his best of the actual projectiles. Up tilt, gets the psych up up tilt to take the stock. So, you know, Pompkins is not out of this, it's only a 103% deficit rather than two stocks and a 103% deficit. Hero definitely also has that randomness. He does have access to crits or even yeah, like a whack or whack. And that is going to kill. So Giannis gets the 2 0 with the JV2 stock in game two. And another, we have another SK player making it out of pools on the loser side. Which is very oh, cool. I didn't even know he was SK. Yeah, he's from Andy oh. Bates. He's reaching the duels from. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't yeah. know that. 